Here we have a universal set and three sets, A, B, and C. Now this problem already gave us a Venn diagram, but there's three sets and the three set Venn diagram is always going to look like this right here. So all we need to do is go through and put in all the elements in the right place. Let's go ahead and start that off. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is look for everything that's in common to all three. So there's a K, there's an H, H, there's no H in the C set, and how about A and B? A and B are not in all three. So it looks like K is the only thing that's in all the sets. So let's go ahead and cross that out. Now let's do the little a, little a. So little a is in a and c. So here's the a, here's the c. So little a is in both of those. So it's gonna go in this section. So anything in common to a and c is gonna go in this little uh, triangular shaped area. So that's a, uh, what else? B, oh, there we go. B is in all three sets. So B is gonna go into center right next to the K. C, so I, there's a C and A and B. So here's A, here's B. In between, we have a C. And remember, I can't put C down here because then C would have to be inside the C set. All right, so I see a D in A and B. So D is in A and B. E is in A and B. F is in A and B. It's getting kind of full in there. G is in A and B. And H is in A and B. Last up, the letter I is in B and C. Letter I is in there. Okay, so that is everything in these sets. Now, there's nothing in B that's not in A and C, so this is gonna be empty here. Similarly, there's nothing in A that's not in B or C, so there's nothing inside here. And there's also nothing just in C, so there's nothing in here. Okay, so let's, we'll answer the question that's being asked in a minute, but, uh, oh, one last thing, the universal set. So that's the set that would be outside of A, B, and C. So I have a lot of letters here. The universal set is all letters A through K. So I know there's already an A. We put, drew, there's a B, there's a C, there's a D, there is an E, and an F, and a G, and an H, I, there's a K, but there's no J. So J is gonna be the only element or the only letter that's not inside the A, B, or C set. Now we can start answering some of these questions. So let's answer some questions that are not asked. So first thing we're gonna do is get the complement. So this little C written as a superscript or an exponent means the complement. This is not, what is not in A. All right, so here is what is in A inside the circle. So what's not in A, there's only two elements not in A. It's I and J. So I and J, and writing this in set notation, put the curly brackets in there. So that's what is not in A. And now I definitely need eraser, there we go. All right, so that's not in A could do something similar, not in B, which would be B complement. So a lot of stuff is in B. What's not in B, it looks like A and J are not inside the B circle. All right, so those are complements right there. Of course, I could do C complement also. And there's a lot of things not in C. So all that is not in C and that is not in C. What we're gonna do is get things uh, down here. So first thing we're gonna do is compute A intersects C complement. The order of operations is important. So let's go and grab a highlighter. 
So I'm going to do the A intersect C first. I'm going to do it in this highlighter. Here's A and C. The intersection is everything in this football shape. But we're now going to take the complement of that. So now we have A intersect C. I want everything not inside of that. There's a lot not inside of that. In fact, the only things inside are A, B, and K. So everything outside of it is quite a bit. So don't use A, don't use B. We have C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, and not K. And that's the last letter. You should put commas in between these. I'm just going to save some time and not write commas. All right, so that is A intersect C complement. And the next thing we're going to do is B intersect A complement. So first thing, well, we're going to rewrite it first. Now we want to get the B intersect C first. So B intersect C is this football shaped region. So what we have in here is B, I, and K. So the complement is everything that's not B, I, and K. So you have A, skip B. So we have C, D, E, F, G, H, skip I, skip K, and we have J. Is that the last letter? Man, I'm bad at alphabetical order. Oh, there's a K. Oh, we're skipping K. Perfect. I forgot about it too. Amazing. All right, we're skipping K because it's right there. We want everything outside that football shape. We're almost done. Not quite done yet. There's one last step to this. So in between these two, there's a union. So we just took care of these separately. Now we're going to union these two sets together. Okay, so it's everything in the first set and everything in the second set. We're unioning, unioning these together. So I'm just going to go alphabetically by what letters I see. So the first letter I see alphabetically is A. There's no B. There's the next letter in both would be C. A, C, D, E, F, G. I'm just going alphabetically as I see them. E, F, G, H, I, J. There is no K, because K is not in either of these two sets. All right, so that is the only thing missing from these. Oh, there's also no B. So let's look at where those, here's the K and there's the B. So why are those excluded? Well, we went through why they're excluded in one way of thinking by finding these two sets separately and then unioning them together. Uh, we can also look, so why B and K are there in the middle? Well, if you look, when you intersect A and C, A and C, we had this football shape and we took everything that was not in that football shape. So it was not A, not B, not K. Then we later, did this football shape and took everything that's not in this football shape. And then we union those two together and it turns out the only thing not in both of those is this very, very center part, which is the, the B and the K. That's in neither this football nor, well, it's neither in the complement of each of these. Uh, it gets quite hard to think about these in different ways, but if you draw them out one at a time, in my opinion, that's probably the best way to approach these, and I just did a little compliment at first for some extra practice.